As you can see, there's several patches of dead grass. The field was patchy. The emblem was barely recognizable. FedEx Field's conditions are coming under fire since Sunday's game. I was watching it pretty closely. They, they mentioned it pretty uh, up front that it was very soft and, and really a mess. And when star quarterback Robert Griffin went down late in the fourth quarter, viewers wondered if the field played a role. But when asked about the field, RG3 offered little more than a smile. Robert, how was the field? The field? Ooh, rough. Is that fair? <laughs> That's just part of our home field advantage. DC Pro Sports Report writer Tom Threlkeld says too much activity could have worn down FedEx Field, but it's no excuse for dangerous conditions. Risk playing in this game. These fields have to be in decent shape, and that one did not look like it was really in NFL standard shape uh, la uh, yesterday. Yet the NFL says the Redskins submitted the necessary certification for safe play prior to the game. Mike Shanahan says he believed the field looked fine. I really thought the field was okay because I didn't see people slipping, you know, during the game. That's where you, I've seen perfect grass and guys, you know, just slipping all the time. And so, therefore, I don't think there's an advantage one way or a disadvantage one way. But you would like to have the perfect field, yes. And as the Redskins look toward the future, some are wondering if the Skins will eventually pick turf over grass. We heard from Mike Shanahan earlier this afternoon. One of the reporters in that press conference asked if he would be open to a turf field in the future. And Shanahan said that although he prefers grass, he's certainly open to talking with ownership about a turf field. But as far as he knows, that's really an issue for next year. At Redskins Park, Whitney Wild, News Channel 8.